Fire Rescue showing off it's some brand new equipment today. Yeah, Fox News reporter Ashlyn Nichols joins us in the studio with more on this Ashlyn. Shelby and Byron, those vehicles are replacing some of Mobile's older fire engines and ambulances. The goal to keep people safe. Four engines and three ambulances joined the Mobile Fire Rescue Department's fleet this morning, along with two special additions, a hydration truck and a training trailer. The hydration unit is a response to high temperatures. It is a rehabilitation unit for firefighters, and essentially what that provides is an area for them to cool off and rehabilitate after being in their bunker gear at a fire scene, especially in Mobile, Alabama, where the heat's 100 plus degrees uh, during the summertime. The training truck will be taken to schools, nursing homes, and other facilities, providing instruction that mimics real life situations. <laughs> can actually do training on site that provides a realistic environment to do that and we'd be happy to show you that but it, it will actually cause smoke generate smoke you can use a fire extinguisher extinguisher and then those types of things will allow us to better reach the community because ultimately we want to not only are we able to respond to emergency incidents but it's our responsibility to make sure that we prepare people for when those things do occur they know how to appropriately respond on their own with taxpayer money paying for these vehicles, Mayor Sandy Stimson has a message for the community. It's really all about you and that it improves our response time. It makes sure that we, ha we have at hand the best equipment that we can possibly have from a life safety standpoint to protect you and your family and your businesses. The total project has cost the city $4 million, including the other engines and ambulances purchased this year. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Ashley Nichols, Fox 10 News.